Good evening, I'm Deborah Knapp. Missed meals, not enough face masks. One inmate recently released from the Bear County Jail says the coronavirus pandemic has led to big problems at the lockup. Tonight, 20 inmates have tested positive, along with 21 detention deputies. The sheriff's office says it is taking steps to prevent an outbreak, but inmates say it isn't enough. Eyewitness News reporter Mariah Medina has the story. I, you know, I was really concerned about, uh, you know, my age, uh, 73. And, you know, as they were saying that that's not a good place to be. Glenn Watson was recently released from the Bear County Jail after spending more than two months behind bars on nonviolent charges. He says in addition to a shortage of soap and skipped meals, he felt there wasn't much being done to protect inmates from the deadly virus. It's pretty much hell on earth in there right now, according to them. I, I certainly wouldn't want to be there unless I absolutely had to. Attorney Valerie Headland says Watson isn't alone in his claim. She has two clients at the jail right now who tell her they've had to wear the same clothes for nearly a week and have struggled to get access to things like soap, clean masks and consistent meals. What he said was most inmates were either wearing ones that had holes in them. Some had poked holes in the sides of the mask to restring them themselves or they would use a towel to cover their face or nothing at all. The sheriff's office says inmates are given free soap once a week. They also acknowledge they've had some delays in meals because they had to suspend their inmate worker program due to the virus. With 20 inmates positive for COVID-19 and counting, Headland says the result has been frustrating. So it's really got them all pretty upset and, and families are upset too. Mariah Medina, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.